And I'm Holly Short, your ally on the other side. Really interesting for me to see the parallels that both your characters share as far as this um, concept of trying to clear your father's names. So maybe, um, Ferdia, talk to me a little bit about the relationship Artemis has with his father, um, all that he's taught him and the passions that they share. Yeah, I think Artemis is a really cool relationship with his father. Um, the, the whole thing of his father teaching him the Irish mythology, um, which Artemis uses to his advantage later in the film because he knows all this information. Um, I think it's really powerful for the film as well because it really gives it a driving force um, that Artemis wants to get his father back. And uh, it, it really gives him something to go for. I love the idea of seizing opportunity, not just being complacent and saying, you know, well, whatever happens, happens, but really like pursuing truth. So maybe Laura, talk to me a little bit about how um, embodied with your character. Yeah, definitely. That's a really strong point um, of Holly's story throughout this movie and throughout the books is that she's always trying to prove herself no matter what. She believes that she's destined for great things and she knows that she's being underestimated for many reasons and she knows that she can prove herself. So when the opportunity comes to prove herself and she falls to the hands of Artemis, she does not appreciate it. Um, but yeah, she's definitely all for one seizing opportunity. She is always for action and she's quick thinking and um, she, with her training and with her own personality, always knows what's the right thing to do and will do it no matter what the cost is. It's a great cast and I have to ask you, I had read, did you guys really make fairy cakes with Dame Judi Dench? We <laughs> <Tell> did. <me. laughs> yeah. more about the story. Oh my goodness, that was actually the first time we had ever met Dame Judi Dench was um, Kenneth Brown introduced um, her to us and that's already surreal enough in itself as meeting Dame Judi Dench and then we all made fairy cakes together, as you do. They really wanted an Irish boy to play this character and, and I understand they did an extensive search, you know, more than a thousand actors for the role um, and Kenneth said that you have such a knowledge of the character and that your um, humor really impressed for you, you know, getting to embody this character, what, what will you remember most about this experience? Um, I, I really, uh, I just remember like the cast being so nice. Like when you come onto the set, you know, like I, I got the part, but it's still really daunting to go on set and because you're, you're worried that you won't do it right. Um, but the cast are just so nice and they make you feel so comfortable that it just becomes a breeze coming in and you actually look forward to it. You know, it's, it's always so exciting to go on set and see what new plans we've got in store, what, what changes to the script and what new ideas. Um, it's, it's always such an experience. Well, and it's such an experience as an audience member because, you know, we get this meaty story, but then it's mixed in with you know, fight scenes with fairies and digging trolls and time freezes. <laughs> Laura, talk to me about learning to fly or some of the kind of special effects things that you got to do. Oh my goodness, I definitely, I've learned so many new skills with this film. I unfortunately cannot be an elf, but I can fly, kind of. Um, but um, yeah, we've got to work with an amazing stunts team. They always made sure that we felt comfortable and safe, which is so important when you're learning so many new skills. Um, I got to learn gymnastics and self-defense and how to kickbox along with being trained as a wire artist. And they always made sure that I felt as in control as possible when I was up flying in the air. <laughs> now look around, this is what they call 